so this is the part two of uh, the diagnosis uh, concerning Pojo 3008 that's a THP 163 engine that uh, had the uh, oil mixture on the coolant reservoir uh, which I did uh, post a published video earlier so the issue so we remove the cylinder head and the uh, cylinder head is off and um, so this is the cylinder head so of course nothing is wrong with the cylinder head however um that's affect the head gasket has been affected so we are changing it however the cause is not this head gasket the cause of the water and the coolant uh, mixture in the in the reservoir so um what i could find is look at this this is the thermostat housing you can see uh it's filled up in fact almost like blocked with that mixture and uh, also the radiator this is the upper you can see um so so let's see from this side it's filled up and um so funny enough we'll check the uh, even before I remove the cylinder, I checked the dipstick and uh, there was no oil, there was no water inside the engine. So, as you can see, I've also removed the engine oil cooler, of course, from this uh, assembly. So, and um, I don't know, it's not showing as if it's from here, but you never know. Probably, um, because what came out here was more like the normal coolants and the uh, um, oil and coolant color so so we don't know how if I even drain uh, because I have another suspect uh, is the gearbox uh, oil cooler this is somewhere down there um, so I would drain both the engine oil and the gearbox oil I mean this is even the gearbox oil so I mean, doesn't look like it doesn't have that color. So, um, as it is now, so what I'm thinking we will do, of course, the head gaskets we are changing it, but like I said, the issue is not the head gasket. The reason why the head gasket got burnt was, uh, uh, of course, this cost over it, and as you can see, it blocked the the uh, coolant flow. Uh, so eventually affected the gasket. So it's uh, to change uh, this unit and also the transmission um, oil cooler. Since uh, it's difficult to pinpoint what is causing the where the mixture is happening. Of course, another suspect is the tubo charger. So I don't know. I've never come across tubo charger that have does uh, that have done this, but who knows? Because the tubo charger, the oil uh, goes into it, uh, also the water goes into it. So if, if the tubo charger will cause it, it means the mixture will be from here to, to happen here um, before it comes out. Um, but from here, I don't know, one of the lines of uh, where the, this thing goes. So, it's, it's really, really difficult to tell where this is happening. So, uh, three suspects, two, two boat charger, um, engine oil cooler, transmission oil cooler. Like I said, it's the, it wasn't the gasket, so don't even bother uh, mentioning it, uh, pointing it out. It was not the gasket, trust me, it was not the gasket that caused this. It was uh, as reaction to this that eventually affected the head gasket. So, but we are changing the head gasket anyway. So, that's what. Um, so, likely start to placing these two first the engine oil cooler and the transmission oil cooler, and then see what happens.